Ça te va. André, en français d'abord, oui. dis-moi, chez toi, premier combat UFC, c'est le moment que tu attends depuis un certain temps, plusieurs années. Comment tu te sens? Je suis très excité. Écoute, on a travaillé fort depuis plusieurs années pour euh, en arriver ici ce, ce soir, tu sais, puis de tout le, le processus. J'avais hâte d'être plongé là-dedans, puis de goûter à ça, puis de voir mes, mes, mes questions là, tu sais, que je me posais. Mais là, maintenant, je vois mes réponses. Là, euh, je suis vraiment à ma place ici, puis euh, je suis vraiment prêt de montrer c'est qui Marc-André Barion. C'est un gros nom dans TKO. C'est quoi la plus grosse différence dans la semaine de préparation, la dernière semaine, là, dans ce cercle-là de, de l'UFC? Euh, il n'y a pas de grande différence. Le présentement, je pense que c'est juste d'y aller un peu moment par moment, puis euh, d'apprivoiser un peu le, 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 tout ce que c'est, puis de me laisser aller, puis de m'amuser surtout un peu ce, que, ce qui va arriver dans la cage. Là. Ça va être quoi le plus gros défi samedi soir? Le euh, plus gros défi, ça va être de ne pas essayer d'en faire trop, euh, de garder ça à l'essentiel, puis de vraiment faire ce que je suis capable de faire, c'est-à-dire combattre euh, fort, avoir du cœur, puis vraiment donner un bon spectacle ici au, devant tout euh, mon monde euh, au Canada. Ton père a été ouvrier sur le chantier de construction de cette arène-là? Oui, ouais, mon père a été euh, fait partie de la construction dans les années 90, puis euh, maintenant, ben, il va assister à un combat de son garçon dans ce même amphithéâtre-là. C'est spécial? Oui. Tu es chez toi, là? Qu'est-ce ouais. que tu as fait? Tu es retourné dans ton gym, je pense? À... Oui, j'ai eu la chance de retourner un peu à mes racines. Je me suis promené, j'ai laissé aller un petit peu mon, mon feeling là, de, de, de venir m'imprégner de ça, puis ça fait du bien de, de revenir à ça puis d'avoir toute mon équipe qui va me suivre euh, avec moi du jour 1. Euh, je peux pas demander mieux, je pense, là, que, que, que de vivre ça avec tout le monde. Qu que, comme, comment ça a commencé avec Patrick euh, Marcel? Tu as commencé là, c'est peut-être le gym où tu as commencé, puis euh, c'était quoi les débuts pour toi là-bas? Oui, ben, avec, avec Patrick or, or Marceau Patnaud, c'est vraiment lui qui m'a pris là, dès le jour 1, qui m'a allumé le feu en dedans de moi, puis c'est lui qui a fait en sorte que euh, j'ai gravi les échelons à chaque fois. Il a toujours été derrière moi, peu importe le résultat, il me disait « je vais être fier de toi ». Puis aujourd'hui, je peux à mon tour la rendre fière en l'amenant dans mon coin euh, samedi soir euh, dans le cage de l'UFC. Ouais. Your first uh, en anglais, s'il vous plaît. Yeah. Um, your first UFC fight, almost in your backyard. What's this, gonna, what's this moment going to be like for you? Oh, it's going to be amazing. Right now, I'm so, uh, I'm so confident that I will enjoy the process. And when I will step inside the octagon, I will just embrace and be myself this is a dream for a, a UFC for a, for a fighter looking to get into the game and here you are it's Saturday night mm -hmm. um, nervous anxious no uh, like I said I'm so uh, I'm very excited confident I've worked so hard uh, since my last uh, fight and I'm just ready to put on a great performance here uh, in front of my country and let everybody uh, knows Who is Power Bar? The day before the fight was made, Andrew said that he, uh, you and him, uh, sparred at TriStar. He said that he thought he got the better of you. Uh, what are your thoughts on that sparring session, and how do you think it uh, pertains to the fight? Yeah, it was only a, a sparring session, all with respect and nothing else. So the, the, the fight, the fight is different. So uh, he will see. He will see Saturday night. Uh, what is the best of Marc Andre? You're a very aggressive fighter too. You hit very hard. Uh, with the hometown crowd, are you worried about getting a little too excited while you're in there, just trying to end a fight, getting into a, your first UFC fight? Yeah, uh, like I said in French, is the, the aspect I don't want to just oh, just overwhelmed by uh, everything. I uh, just want to be myself, compose, uh, just enjoy the moment and have fun. And in this too, just trying to make a name for yourself, get yourself in that conversation of you know, who you are, as a, like you said, power bar. What is it that you want to do and accomplish in this fight? Uh, of course, I, I want the win. I want uh, to make a huge statement right away to just establish myself in the middleweight division and let everybody know uh, why why I am the double champ in the TKO organization. Yeah. Does that help that you know your opponent pretty well too? Yeah, I think the UFC put me on that that good spot because they, they really want to, uh, to to see what I, what I'm, I'm capable of and I will not disappointing them. Uh, Mark, your fight was announced back in February. Were you confident uh, at the end of last year that you would be making your UFC debut in 2019? Yeah, yeah, that was the plan. Uh, after I signed, I just take the time to just balance everything and look to just be ready for the next step, and here we are. You know, George St. Pierre retired recently, of course, and 
all the good uh, French Canadian fighters are compared to him. So, I mean, do you feel like you're, you and others are kind of stepping up in his place or, or are going to? George was an amazing athlete. Uh, he had a huge impact in uh, my career, my motivation, and also in my determination to just make my own path by myself and be one of the, the next generation of Canadian mixed martial arts uh, superstar. Last one for me. Uh, you're, you're engaged, correct? Yeah. Uh, when's, when's the wedding? What's, what's the plan? I mean, you're uh, busy now. You're in the UFC. I know. But what, what is the plan going forward? Uh, we'll take our time. Uh, the, me and my girlfriend. My girlfriend uh, fight also. Um, so, step by step. Uh, she said yes, so that, that's good. <laughs> After that, the, the fight. I fight, she will fight May uh, 20, 25, uh, 24, so after that, maybe uh, during the, the summer, or we're in, we are not rush. Is it nice to have a fight booked at a similar time as your fiance, just training together and, and alongside each other, preparing at the same time? Yeah, it's, it's, I can ask, ask for a better scenario the, than that. Uh, me and her, uh, we have uh, an amazing... Uh, Partnership and, and every aspect of, of our life is perfectly balanced. So, yeah. You call yourself a uh, power bar? Yeah. Is there a sponsorship endorsement? Uh, go Do you want one? Uh, maybe, but uh, power bar is uh, back from high school uh, because of my last name, Barrio uh, Bar. They used to call me a Bar uh, when I was in high school. And after my first fight, they, they saw uh, my style was uh, with a lot of power and uh, very instinctive fighter, so one of my good boys, uh, my boy, my friend, he just called me Power Bar, and after that, everything is go uh, like that, yeah. Hi, Mark. A um, couple questions for you. I was looking at your amateur career and then paralleling it to your pro career. Your amateur career was a bit of a mixed bag, yeah. but once you hit pro, you just went running. What happened between those two? I don't know. Uh, one of my coach tell me, when you will be in the, the, the pro with a four ounce glove and all your tools, I think you will be dangerous and we have the, the answers, yeah. Um, you mentioned competing in two divisions. Do you plan on doing that in the UFC as well or is middleweight going to be your home for this year? No, it's going to be middleweight. That's, that, that, that's uh, where uh, I belong and that, that's where I'm the best. Uh, the weight cut is okay. I just need to to settle everything around and just step inside the game and do uh, the best. How many friends have uh, hit you up for tickets to this event? Oh, a lot, yeah. <laughs> a lot of my friends' family too. But they, they give me a little break, so they, they did uh, a lot by... Uh, they do a lot by everything around, n not just with me, uh, because I need to focus and just... Do, do the job, yeah. How many people do you think are going to cut out for this that, uh, that you know? I don't have a number uh, in my head, but uh, yeah, I think when I will, uh, when I will do the, the walk uh, for, 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 for the, the entrance, I think uh, you will see uh, the crowd and uh, our power bar, uh, yeah, yeah. What's the uh, experience been like so far between the UFC and an organization like TKO, where obviously a lot of media here today, a lot of attention? Uh, it's a it, it's not the big, uh, huge step, but um, with TKO, uh, I was prepared uh, with that because my two uh, my last two fights, uh, I was the main event, uh, so a lot of media too in my hometown, uh, Quebec City. So I prepared myself uh, with that. Yeah. Do you expect to have a quick rise in the UFC in the middle of the division? Do you think the UFC wants to push you up pretty quickly, or do you want to take things a bit slowly? I'm not that kind of guy who wait for something. Uh, like I said, um, me, I, I do the job when it's when it's when it's count. So during the fight night, so the best I, I could do is with my fist and just just do the job, do uh, everything I can do best and enjoy the process. Yeah. La question était posée en anglais. Uh, en termes de parcours, de plan de match pour toi là maintenant dans le UFC, est-ce que tu es un gars qui est prêt à patienter ou tu veux vraiment Défoncer les portes, puis euh, pas attendre avant d'avoir vraiment. Euh, ben, je, dis, je, je suis le genre de gars qui n'aime pas, euh, pas attendre après quelque chose. Euh, je suis conscient qu'il y a des étapes à, à franchir, mais euh, une chose est sûre, c'est qu'on va aller de l'avant quand ça va être le temps. Mais la meilleure réponse que je peux faire, c'est vraiment de performer quand les lumières sont là. Comme j'ai fait chez TKO, 
Donc, euh, à ce moment-là, moi et mon équipe, mais combat après combat, on va aller, on va savoir où est-ce qu'on va se situer assez rapidement après euh, samedi soir. Prédiction pour samedi soir? Euh, je prédis probablement euh, un knockout de Powerball au deuxième round. Ouais, ouais. Second round knockout. Yeah. Good. Thanks, guys.